Hello everybody, I am Just Lance, and I would like to thank all of you for joining me for another video. First off, I'm sure that the title of the video, A Moving Mystery Shave, has got you all a little baffled. Well, rest assured, this is not because we've had loss in the family or anything like that. This is just, well, part of this shave is going to be moving. Let's put it that way. Anyhow, I'll get to all that in a minute. Now, honestly, I didn't intend to do a video today, but I just had to. Um, my next video that I was going to be doing was actually, was going to be using this. This is my Gillette Old Type. Uh, razor which I've never used on camera but not going to use that in fact the razor I'm going to be using in this video I had absolutely no idea I was going to use it because I didn't own it when I woke up this morning um, my neighbor he knocked on the door he had come back from a trip out of town. He had went up north to Sacramento. Uh, has some friends who owns an antique shop. And he said, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I picked something up and he pulled out a box and my girlfriend knew right off what it was. She didn't know what kind it was, but she knew right off when she saw the box that it was a razor. And he said, you know, I don't know if he has one of these or not. Well, I took a look at it, and I'll show you what I got. As you can see, it's this beautiful wood box. I don't know if you can see the name. Viewfinder. Oops. Image. Sorry about Double that. Double tap to viewfinder. Image. Hang on, guys. Stop recording video. Gotcha. Okay, that was my iPhone talking. Anyways. Viewfind. Stop recording video. Gotcha. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but it says Stally Live Blade Razor. Comes in this beautiful little box. And the only thing wrong with the entire box is the lid. There's a flap of felt, which is the um, hinge. We just got to re-glue it. Now the cool thing about this is if you get one of these in this type of box, you can see there's a seam on the side here, and there's a seam on this side and a seam right here. You take, hold it, push it up like so, and then you can pull it apart like that, and it displays the razor. One moment, I'm going to put this back together and set it aside. As you can see, it's all carved out. This has a little piece of felt for the end of the razor handle to set in. And it's got this really neat little, right there, this spring-loaded pin right there. I don't know if it's coming across. But you just take and you line it up in the holes like that and then just push down and it locks in place. So you're able to display your stolly. There it is. It's an absolutely beautiful shape. We looked, it looks like this one was made either um, mid to early 40s. We found some out or something saying 1943 to 19 and 1947. I'm thinking 47. Um, and just as you can see, the plating is just in beautiful shape. Let me take it apart here. And there's a few parts of it that's a little different than your typical DE. As you can see the stabilizer pins right here, they actually got the pin and then there's this little second part sticking down. And then of course you got the threaded post. And then there's that side of the cap. And these bars, the safety bars, are perfectly rounded, and there's little little lines going all the way around. And that's the bottom side of the cap. It's got this here going that way, this here going that way. And then, you know, 
and there's the sides. Oops, sorry guys, my hand got in the way. Now, I'll go ahead and I'll load a blade in it, and then I'll show you how you use it, and then I'll go ahead and wind it up and show you guys. The blade I'm going to be using in this razor is... Actually, what I'll do is once I get the... Well, the blade will be an Astra SP. Um, the brush is going to be my High Mountain White Whip Dog 24mm uh, Badger Brush in the Tall Amber Hand. The soap is going to be Taylor Gold Bond Street Sandalwood Shaving Cream. And I'll go ahead. I'm going to get the blade loaded into the razor and go ahead and get my cream whipped up here and then once I get the razor back together I'll come back and then I'll show you all more about the razor and we'll start to shave. Alright, got the razor back together. Not a lot of blade gap. Now, um, like I said, the presentation box that some things we found it said 43 but most of them said 46 so I'm looking at 40 somewhere between 1943 and 1947 the company was around until the mid 70s earlier mid 70s I can't remember the overall weight of this razor is 175 grams or 6.2 something or six between six and seven ounces and overall length is between is around three three and a half a little more a little less it's between three and three and a half a little more and a little less than three and a half um, I can't remember the exact length and it's a heavy duty razor now they say that this razor now for anybody that's new to wet shaving and you think the Gillette Fusion the took the battery that the head went back and they went ahead and they said it was shit razor shaving technology um, you know that's BS this type of razor this and a couple others that did them they were the original vibrating razors they say this one vibrate oscillated had about 3,000 you know average 3,000 oscillations per minute there was a 1950s ad which post pushed it up to 6,000 oscillations per minute but they figured that probably the advertisers went ahead and counted it as the head going from when it went to the left they counted it as one when it went to the right counted it two three four five six so on and so forth but it does three thousand oscillations per minute anyways the way you do it is you hold the handle and you sit there and you just twist this and then you let go once it gets to a point or you wind up and you just let it go and they say that's supposed to, you know, give you less, less irritation. So, we'll see. Go ahead, instead of mixing my tobs up into, a, in, whipping it up into a cream, all I did was just go ahead and spoon some out, place it here on my brush. So, we're going to do a face lather. Get the face wet. My neighbor, he smokes cigars, or he enjoys a good cigar, so figure, you know, we're going to go ahead, get him a thank you card, and pick him out, a uh, good cigar. Now, I don't smoke anymore, but I used to, and not me and my brother would enjoy a good cigar together. So, my brother more than me, so, but we got a couple of smoke shops here nearby me and
I'll find out from my brother where he used to go to get his cigars. and Because I can't remember where that was. Got a little shaving cream on my hand here. I love the smell of this tops. So I got that. And a big glob or a little bit of a glob of shaving cream run down. Okay. I'm very excited about this shave. I've been wanting one of these. Razors for quite some time. Alright. Here we go. Winding up the here we go, winding up the stolly. You just turn it counterclockwise. And they say it's supposed to come a bit so clean. Hang on, guys. There we go. Ended up getting a little bit of cream on my finger. Here we go. It's humming. Well, yeah, it's whacking through it. Now, They say three thousand oscillation per minute. Is good for uh -oh, about three minutes. Worth it. Yeah. It's a different kind of razor when it comes to holding it because, well, it's 
heavy, very heavy handle. One moment. Very heavy handle. Um, so it's a little awkward, but it's kind of a cool razor to use. Let me try the handle on it off. I don't see myself using it all the time, but kind of a neat piece of history to use, you know? Um, you know, Gillette. Always going on about, oh, greatest, greatest shaving technology, and making you believe that, ooh, wow, they're, they're groundbreaking with doing that, but um, apparently that Gillette Fusion what was that? Okay, my girlfriend dropped something. Oh, anyways, but uh, you know, I never heard of the Stally, so I was like, oh. Now I knew they weren't the first that came up with it because years ago in Walgreens, I saw a razor. It was some name brand I never heard of, and. The head on it oscillated, but it took cartridges. Um, so I know that was a as our friends across the pond would say, a bunch of rubbish. If Gillette is trying to make people believe, God, I love the smell of this stuff. That uh. They were the first to come up with that ideal. So. Unlike Geo Fat Boy, I don't have to clear my runways because. I ain't got hair, you know, or I don't, you know, I shave my head, but uh, I definitely have to clear my nostrils and my lips, but anyways, so let's wind her up again. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's just whacking this whiskers right off. Um, took a shower, got a couple of days ago. Who's with this huge fat handle? It's Pretty easy to hold on to, actually. By the way, Dennis, um, let me know what you think. You let me know how you like the Corona when you get yours. Um, um, one of my viewers, Dennis O'Drain. He's helped this channel out quite a bit. By uh, him and Johnny Palmer by sending things. Johnny's, oh man, that's nice. 
Johnny's hooked me up with uh, quite a few vintage razors, quite a few of my vintage razors I got from Johnny. But I've gotten a lot of soaps. I've gotten a razor and a couple of brushes from from Dennis. And he said after he saw that uh, Corona video that he just had to go to eBay and find himself one, uh, himself one. So he's waiting on that. Getting pretty good. Nice. One more pass and then we'll do the noggin. Well, I'll do the noggin. Um, I'll do a head shave here soon. And my next video with that old type, maybe I'll do a head shave with it. So. Just paint on. I guess they did these in chrome, the finishes in chrome, gold. Um, they did one in maroon, uh, pink for women. They did women's razors too, of course. And they had a black one with gold highlights. They did a wooden box presentation case, the wooden box like the one I got. A plastic one and a bullet shaped one. So, our leather wrapped one and a one shaped like a bullet. That one kind of like a you know, clamshell. So, here we go. No, that's not the razor, that's my brush. And the knurling on this ain't bad. Here we go. I haven't been, I think I might just make myself get it. That was really my fault, not to raise it. Now, as I'm tightening it, I'm not tightening this so tight because it's been years since, um, probably years since it's been used. The boy. Chick Platinum Plus B E Blade. It was a platinum plus, but it has shit blade in it, and I dipped it in rubbing alcohol and cleaned it up. And didn't have any rust on it, but I cleaned it up and used it.
You know, like I said, it's a um, different kind of razor to get used to, weight-wise. So, if you like shaving with heavier razors, maybe you might like one of these if you don't have one. If you don't like heavier razors, then if you get one of these, you're pretty much probably after using it the first time, you're probably going to say, yeah, it's a display piece. Good residual flickness on this tub. Yeah, and if uh, you're new at this, and the uh, you're like, have trouble with soaps, lathering and all that, building a lather. Try a cream. And, uh, Tops is a pretty good cream to try. It's like 15 bucks for a decent sized tub. Alright, that. Huh. I think I nick myself. I nick myself once I know of, but yeah, I don't think I got any more nicks or anything. I don't feel much irritation. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, rinse off, um, shave the dog, shave the noggin, and then I'll be back after the head shave for the post and my final thoughts on the razor. See you in a minute. You know what, can't try out a brand new razor such as the Staly Live Blade Razor without going ahead and using the alarm after we shave my face, after I shave my face, see what it says. Um, yeah, a little bit. Mm. A little bit. A couple little spots, but you know, razor's kind of unusual because of how heavy, big the handle is. But you know, not too bad. Okay, so anyways, um, I'll see you for the post. Well, guys, that was an absolutely awesome, awesome shave. Um, you know, even though I've wanted one since I learned about the oscillating razors, um, the the um, these ones and King something or other oscillating razors, uh, you know, I've always wanted one. But I always thought, you know. Vibrating razor might be a little bit gimmicky, but no, it's 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 not. Oh, I've got a little hair sticking out of my ear. I gotta trim my ear hair, damn it. But anyways, um, no, it's not. It gave me a really really nice shave. Um, my head spots were normally most of my DEs didn't quite get smooth I mean it 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 got it it got it um oops missed one little spot I ain't even gonna go ahead and but I mean it got it my head is my head's really really close so, you know, what can I say about the razor? Uh, it's definitely, it definitely, the oscillation definitely serves a purpose, I would have to say. I mean, I got baby butt smooth on my face, my neck, right there, right there, but usually I, I always have a little hair there, no matter what razor I use. So, you know, no big deal. But my head is just great. So, my verdict on the razor is, you know, uh, 
it's a winner. It's a winner. Um, I'm definitely, definitely impressed. Definitely impressed. Is there a razor I'll use every day or every time I shave? No, it's a little too heavy for that. A little unwieldy. But once in a while, it definitely is going to come through. So you know, two thumbs up on that one. Two thumbs up on the one moment. But yeah, two thumbs up on the Stolly Razor. Uh, it's definitely uh, very nice. It's definitely an awesome little razor. Um, the tops, great as usual. Great scent. The um, whip dog, whipped dog 24mm high mountain white and tall amber handle. Great brush. Still is one of my favorites. Uh, the blade was an Astra Green or Astra SP, which stands for Superior Platinum, for those who don't know. Um, first use, great blade, one of my favorites. Uh, always have them in the den. And uh, so, yeah, let's move on to the post, shall we? Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Much for tingle, not much. The Stally Live Blade Razor. Great, great little, great little razor. Great little razor. And you know what? Tonight, what the hell? Use some of the Nivea Cooling Post Shave Balm. Um, I hope you all are staying cool because we're not. We're trying, but it's 107 here today. Jeez. Jiminy. Hot, 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 and more hot. That's the forecast. Seven day forecast. Um, I much prefer winter. A little too much, so just rub it on in. Yeah, um, for those of you who watch, I'd rather be shaving. Uh, watched a video today that they did where they watched more extreme, you know, shaving videos that someone might consider extreme. There's one guy that did a the first video, some guy in Germany, first first video he did a straight razor shave in like three between three and four minutes he just like just ripped through the through through the whiskers man he just ripped through it and the aftershave is going to be my vintage Avon in the big rig decanter, which actually it smells like Panade Clubman. <sighs> Not a dead dead ringer for it, but it's damn close. If I ever had a big enough place, big enough den, I'd love to get all the Avons, you know. I'd like to have a full collection of the, oops, Avon aftershave, colognes, whatever, you know. Um, of course, untap, brand new. Because, I don't know. As a kid, my mom, she bought a lot of Avons, and she bought some of the, aftershaves but they were more because she thought the decanters they were in were pretty and she had one and oh god and I used to love the smell of it kind of a woodsy scent I don't know thinking it was more of a uh, fougere but the decanter was a 
brown glass, and it was like a pheasant, and the head was green. It was just really cool. I love that. But anyways, that's the shave. Stolly, live blade, wind up, oscillating razor, DE razor, Tobbs, sandalwood, whip dog, 24 millimeter, and love the shave. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all are staying cool. I hope you all are doing good. Anyways, y'all have a good one, and I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.